Hello, everyone. Our discussion this evening for 15 minutes, the topic is positive thinking from Swami Kriyananda's book, Affirmations for Self-Healing. And uh, let us hear what Swamiji has to say, and also I'll share a little bit of comment. He says, as we think, so we become. And of course, we can see how this is certainly true. You know, starting with just one thought, let's say it's a positive thought. That thought can occur more times if we allow it to. And then eventually that positive thought, those positive thoughts become a habit. And that habit eventually becomes our nature. We become by having at first, one positive thought, then many positive thoughts. It becomes a habit, and then it becomes who we are. We're positive by nature. It's a, it becomes our consciousness. And the same is true with a negative thought. If we allow our mind to go in a negative direction, usually it's just drifting aimlessly without control on our part. When we allow it to go in a negative direction, that can be that negativity can become our outlook on life. It can be what we become, our future. And Swamiji says further, as we think, so our lives and circumstances become also. So not just our inner nature, and let's think positively now because it's much more pleasant to think that way. Not only our inner nature becomes more and more positive, but also our circumstances. We become so positive, we create a magnetism. We draw to ourselves through our strong, powerful positivity, positive energy. We draw to ourselves positive circumstances. Things start to go in our way and answers come in ways that we least expected just because we started thinking in a very positive direction. We then were able to create the magnetism, build the magnetism, to draw positive circumstances, positive people, positive opportunities into our life. And so it is so true, the power of that thought the power of positive thinking. From divine consciousness come answers to all our questions and solutions to all our problems. It is in lower consciousness that confusion reigns. We talk about three levels of consciousness, conscious, where we drift in sleep, in dreams, without control, conscious mind. When we're awake, we're alert, we use our willpower, we make things happen, and then also the superconscious mind. And in the superconscious mind, Whereas the conscious day-to-day -day mind sees separation, it sees diversity, it sees confusion. The conscious mind sees solution. It sees unity. It sees the answers. 
because the superconscious mind attunes with the divine. And, <coughs> and it is the nature of God, of the divine, of yoga means union. It is the nature of the divine is unity, is solutions, is simplicity. Whereas, uh, whereas the conscious, the subconscious are confusion, multiplicity, just as when God went out from the Satchitananda, the unmoving form state of God and moved out to expand into creation. Creation meant creating duality of light and dark and cold and heat, multiplicity, confusion. And we need to seek our way back, back to simplicity, back to unity, back to that oneness with the divine. Because when we see the world from that standpoint, things are simple, they're clear, they're, they are unity. Swamiji says, think positively in everything you do, for in that way you help to attune yourself to the divine flow. One who is inwardly in tune with grace finds all things harmonious and beneficial being attracted to him. When we are so positive, when we cultivate and nurture positive thoughts within us, and don't give space, don't give room to the negative. There's, a, uh, there's an old song that goes along the lines of accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and don't mess with Mr. In-Between. And this is very sage spiritual advice and practical advice for success in life. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. And by not messing with Mr. In-Between, we don't become lazy. We don't become satisfied with being, with being wishy-washy, with being ordinary. We want to affirm with full energy and vigor, we want to accentuate the positive. And so it's only in this way that we can draw that positive magnetism to us. And in that way also, we draw to ourselves all the opportunities, all the positive a, um, environment and uh, circumstances that will bring us happiness, success, and union with God. And they bring to us, Swamiji talks about the grace, the divine flow that comes to us when we put out positive energy what comes back to us is this divine grace, this divine flow. And so that we feel inwardly that sense of calmness, of peace, of joy. We feel that grace within us. And when we do that, we see everything that is attracted to us. We see everything that are, that's harmonious and beneficial naturally comes to us because we put out the very best energy that we can. Positive thinking 
combined with the sense of divine attunement is never presumptuous, for it draws its power not from the ego, but from the consciousness of God's joy within. We can be assertive in an egoic way. We can say, you know, I am the best. I am better than this person and this person and this person. And by cutting off the heads of others to make ourselves appear, appear taller does not bring us happiness. It does not bring us this grace that we are talking about. It is using the willpower in a way that builds the ego. It builds a sense of separateness. I am better, therefore I am different. And I want, uh, I'm focused on myself. I want what is pleasant for me. And this is, this sends us back to this sense of duality, of separation, of delusion, and away from the unity, this divine unity and grace. And so we're using our willpower here but we're using it in a selfish way. And so we need to cultivate positive thinking in a harmonious way, that a beneficial way that brings us to unity, simplicity, crystal clarity, oneness. Let's now repeat the affirmation that Swamiji has given us for positive thinking. And please think on these words and say them out loud. Repeat after me. My outer life is a reflection of my inner thoughts. Filled with the joy of God. I express his joy and harmony in everything I do. Please repeat again. My outer life is a reflection of my inner thoughts. Filled with the joy of God, I express his joy and harmony in everything I do. Now more quietly, my outer life is a reflection of my inner thoughts. Filled with the joy of God, I express his joy and harmony in everything I do. Now repeat in a whisper only, my outer life is a reflection of my inner thoughts. Filled with the joy of God, I express his joy and harmony in everything I do. Now please repeat and contemplate these words and their meaning mentally only. My outer life is a reflection of my inner thoughts, filled with the joy of God. I express his joy and harmony in everything I do. Now please, re please pray mentally with me this prayer. Problems cannot exist, Lord. Wherever thou art near, give me strength always to hold thee in my heart. Give me strength always to hold me in my heart. 
Thank you all for joining me.